Well, here we are right now in Fort Myers, and we're at the uh, the boat ramp just before you get on to Sanibel Island right here. This is the one I talked about, and uh, this is where I'll be putting in here. Looks really nice. I mean, you can smell the the salt air. It smells fresh. It smells clean. The water looks clean, and people are cleaning fish. That's a good sign. So let's check it out. This looks really nice, and there's a panga. We just went to look at the pangas today. Very nice. People cleaning fish. It's a good sign. Let's see what they got. Very nice mangroves. Okay. Yep. What's going on? Any of you guys heading back out? Mangrove snappers, very nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm from uh, Tampa Bay area. We got a little bit of a problem up there. Look oh, at the sea trout. <laughs> yeah, you think so? So I'm coming down here fishing. So. You got our fair share down here. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah, now we got it. So. But you got to travel to where the fish are, you know, so. Yep. See, so used to get that all the time out of Tampa Bay. Got to come down here to get them, so. Well, here's the uh, here's the other side of the boat ramp. We just watched the guy cleaning some fish. Looks like this guy's pulling out a nice sea trout walking down the road here, or walking down the uh, dock here. And um, looks like they did well. Look at the water. See this? Very nice, clear. And... Um, there's the bridge. I'll be fishing underneath that uh, causeway bridge, and there's another bridge just past that that looks really nice. This side's calmer on the um, Pine Island Sound area than that side leads out into the Gulf. The water's really clear here. Very nice. Everybody's doing fishing here. They're catching fish. I know they've had their share of red tide down here too, but uh, right now it's not here. So hopefully it stays that way. See the water, how clear this is? <laughs> We remember a time in Tampa Bay. I mean, there's a needlefish right there, a ballyho. Uh, very, very nice. Look at this. Breakwater's right here because I'm sure it gets rough. So I'll have to be careful with the skiff. Look at that. Uh, very nice here. The water, look at that. Little glass minnows. I'm sure I'm going to have no problem getting uh, white bait out here. A lot of boats out here. And here we're coming up to the Sanibel Causeway. This right, this right here, this is the Fort Myers area, Fort Myers Beach that way. That's Sanibel Island right out there. There's the lighthouse, and look at that. Looks like glass minnows right there. See that? They're alive. Very nice looking. I like that. There it is. Very similar to the Skyway. I looked at the... Uh, NOAA charts and I looked at the depths and it looks like it's around 20 feet deep in the channel the 24 feet deep and around the sides 15 to 20 almost looks like the new Terra Verde bridge so there's the Gulf there's the south part of Sanibel Island right there and uh, there's the other causeway you can just see it in the distance and uh, look at the look at the nice water here and uh, looks like there's a bunch of boats fishing the flats out there when I went over the bridge over here I could see straight out there, boats fishing the flats. Should have no problem getting live bait. Um, and um, hook it up with mangroves. You saw the guys cleaning them there, so you know that there's fish here. That's good. So there's the boat ramp right there. Everything looks good for a fishing trip here. Look at the pelicans. Here's the ramp right here. Here's my wife, Apple. Wave to the camera, hon. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Very nice. All these all these pelicans. You're nice nice to see clear water. Needle fish. People uh clean fish in in crystal clear water. The pelicans probably getting all the uh uh the scraps from the cleaning right there. So uh this is this is gonna be good. This is where I'll be coming. Absolutely. Changing strategies, going where the fish are. Yep. There's the ramp. It's not a floating ramp, but that's okay. Looks pretty good here. They really take care of this place. Yeah, this this is a good. This looks like a good place to put in here. 
Everything, everything looks alive here. Smells like fresh salt water. Love it. Everybody's cleaning fish. Well, that's the road trip my wife and I took down here on a Saturday. And uh, this, this is a nice road trip here. This, this shows you what kind of fishing you can get down here in uh, Fort Myers area. And like I said, you gotta change up your strategies if you wanna, if you wanna catch fish. And, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna see a lot more movies of me coming down here, going up to Hernando, whichever is most productive. That's where I'll be headed until uh, Tampa Bay uh, gets back to normal, and it will. So uh, just gotta stay positive and uh, just keep on fishing. Well, there's the fiddler crabs. They they saw me and they're starting to move. So let's. I'm just gonna run up to them and watch all these guys run. Look at that! Look at these guys. That's great bait. Look at them all go. Look at all these guys. Man, oh man! All those fiddler crab. All those fiddler crabs. Look at that! Look at them go! Look at them go! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at it! Look at look at that great bait. Great bait right there. Look at that, they're going right in there. You can just reach in there with your net or your hand and just put them right in the, put them right in the bucket. Look at all these guys, look at them all. Man, what great bait. Look at them going here. Look at them all going. When I go down to Fort Myers Beach, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get some the day before. They'll, they'll stay in a bucket for a couple days. And really nice, look at that, oh my gosh. Free bait, look at that. They charge about $4 a dozen in the bait shop here. Very nice bait. But look at it out here, cockroach. The water looks a little dirty, but look at them, look at them go. Look at them all go. Yeah, so when I go down to Fort Myers, I'm gonna come over here and see if I can't get me some of these and take them down there. All depends what my schedule is to go down there, but uh, that's really good bait. Oh, when I was down to Fort Myers Beach there, uh, my uh, scouting trip, they had uh, shrimps kind of expensive there. It said um, 50, shrimp, 50 shrimp for $15. <laughs> I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, that's really expensive, but uh, I'll probably get that. And if I don't get any mangroves by that time, then I don't deserve to catch anything, but I'm sure I'll be cast netting for greenbacks out there and uh, take some of those uh, fiddler crabs too. So should have plenty of bait. Yeah, it'll be an interesting trip. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, I did a little bit of shopping and uh, got a new reel. And uh, by now, uh, everybody knows that uh, I'm a Shimano guy. So uh, here we go. Nothing against Day War Pet, but uh, I'm just a Shimano guy. Twin Power 4000 uh, Saltwater XG. This is the new 2021 model. Yeah, they, they, they just didn't have many of these. I had to get it from a distributor in California. And uh, I'm gonna unbox this thing and uh, let you guys look at it. But uh, I've been looking for another reel, and I, I always reach for my Thunnus 4000, and I said, what kind of reel could I get next? Well, which one do I reach for all the time? My 4000. Lightweight, and it does everything I want. The auto bail, I love the auto bail. I mean, you, you, sometimes you forget that, you know, the, close the bail, and, and it's just when, when you're fishing fast, but the, the auto bail is really nice on this. And waterproof, this thing is waterproof, it's strong, it's gonna last for years. So uh, let's take a look at it. So there you have it, the unboxing, the Shimano Twin Power 4000 XG 2021. This is the new model. I had to get this from California paperwork, toss that aside. <laughs> Don't need that for now. <laughs> Look at that, there's the oil. That's great. And um, let's just move the box aside. Don't need that anymore, but uh, there's the reel right there. What a beautiful reel. I mean, this reel weighs 12.3 ounces, 6.2 to 1 gear ratio on this, 24 pound drag. 24 pound drag, look at this, look at that. And you know what it does, when you when you reel this, it just doesn't reel it in a line, it crosses like that. So with braid, you know, it would dig in, but the way that this does that Spirex like an X cross on it. 
yeah and, and it does it really well and I'm gonna be putting on here uh, my power pro uh, 30 pound that's what I'm putting on here it's perfect for it. it's perfect for that so let's get this uh, let's get this uh, handle on here and I'm kind of ambidextrous so uh, and you know all the conventional reels are uh, <laughs> They're all right hand drive, you know, where you turn it like that. So that's how mine's going on. Just like this, get that paper out of there. Don't need that. So um, look at this handle. This, this is beautiful. Look at that, look at that knob. That That's perfect right there. So let's just get this thing on here right now. That's good. Look at this. And you notice one thing right here? Made in Japan, right there. Very nice. Look at that. <laughs> now now that, that's, that's really smooth. I mean, what what a heck of a reel. I mean, extra tough uh, drag that uh, that X Arrow Wrap 2 propulsion line management system. Uh, it, it's got all these things. Uh, CI4 Plus, uh, the Hagen gear, Hagen body, X Protect, X Shield. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is right next to the Stella. And this, reel here the 4000 this was 499 doesn't count shipping or your tax but i got it from california so there was no tax on that but uh the, this 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 reel is really nice i mean you can compare it to my other 4000 right here and that's the thunnus i really love this thunnus here i've had this for about uh three four years and the twin power this thunnus was 269 and this new um this new twin power this was 499 and I'm gonna put this one on a um, on my uh, talus rod right here on the um, seven foot two inch twenty to fifty medium fast action. This is a great rod. Yep, it's gonna match well on there. And I'm gonna put it on with the um, you know a lot of people do the unboxing and go into all the details and stuff, but you know the details are in catching fish. <laughs> it's just like it's not the boat that catches the fish. <laughs> it's the guy in it or the person in it so um, I'm just gonna put that on there like that and and just it's it's gonna balance out really well let's just let's just see this here like that's yeah you want to find your balance point uh, it's just perfect that's that's just th this is just this is just the perfect balance point right here when you want to hold it just just like that I mean it, it's just so light it ma it matches this uh, this talus rod just perfect and with the uh, with the power pro 30 pound yeah that's what I'm gonna be putting on here well what a nice reel I mean I, I, I can't, can't say enough good about it I haven't used it but I, I really love Shimano and uh, this is gonna give me years of service and you're gonna see me reeling a lot of fish with this I mean a lot of fish so and not that I don't with the thunnest but uh, this one here and you know what I like about it the automatic bail I love that I, I, I just love it and all the thunnest uh, models have it the twin power look at that see that I don't know if the bigger uh, um, models have it but look at that very 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 nice I mean th this can last for years and uh, like I said you're gonna see me catch a lot of fish with this and uh, and tomorrow I'm going down to Fort Myers and then I'm gonna be going up to Hernando Beach I was down Fort Myers there wasn't any red tide there and I was watching guys cleaning mangroves out there oh my gosh yeah trout mangroves and everybody got their limit out there very nice and um, oh yeah let me put this let me put this on here yeah I gotta get that you know the one thing is I don't know why they always put these little bit plastic things on here but I've never had one break or or the seal but th this is really watertight that's what you want you don't want the salt water intruding in this and it, it has seals everywhere I mean you could I could I could have read off a sheet and told you all about it but this is a great reel 24 pound drag on here this is what you really need and uh, like I said, I'm going to be using this mainly for mangroves. I can catch, I can catch gags on this too out in the Gulf, and uh, underneath the bridge, the Skyway. Once it comes back, but uh, this is nice. And I'll be going out, going out in the Gulf a lot more. So, uh, but this really nice reel. This is the Shimano uh, Twin Power uh, Saltwater 4000 XG, excellent reel. 4.99 though. They're hard to find. Hard to find. I had to get it out of a distributor in California. I couldn't find it at any of the major uh, retailers, even at Chaos uh, Rods in Pompano, uh, Florida, where I usually get stuff, Pompano, um, they didn't even have any. So 
but very nice and they had the old ones um oh, just it, it, it's just i can fish with this all day long and i have a lot of five thousands five thousand and eight thousand and the uh uh, Saragusa 14,000 and uh, but this I'm gonna be reaching for this one uh, every single time I go out in the boat the first rod I reach for is gonna be this one so uh, Shimano um, saltwater uh, 4000 XG twin power nice reel uh, look forward in the videos well everybody seen me with my boat my make a pro skiff 15 well I've been looking around and uh, this is called boat shopping. <laughs> you gotta love it. You know, I, no, I won't be happy selling my Mako skip, but a couple reasons I'm, I'm gonna be selling it and uh, uh, going with another boat. I'm gonna go with a uh, inshore and uh, close offshore boat with a uh, Tidewater 20. That's, that's what I'm looking at. And uh, this is a bay boat here, but I'm going with the, uh, the Carolina Flare in the deep bay here. So with a 20 footer. But uh, it's treacherous underneath the Skyway with the currents, the boats, and, and all the traffic. I catch a lot of fish in that boat. It's not the boat that catches the fish, it's the person in it. I heard a guy that O'Neill's here tell me that one time, and I said, you know, you're right. And, uh, but I need a boat that I can take uh, offshore, uh, 10, 12 miles, 15, and, and a 20 footer uh, uh, with a 150 uh, Yamaha on it, uh, tide water with the Carolina flare on it. And, uh, is a perfect boat to do that so and with the red tide that seems to be coming in and out of here every couple years I mean uh, I, I need something like that and one thing you won't see on the show is I'm not going to talk about the politics of red tide I'm just going <laughs> to deal with what is dealt with uh, what happened and uh, change strategies that's all I can do right now and uh, anyways let's look at this boat here this is a brand new one here at O'Neill's and um, look at that see trim tabs I'm getting trim tabs on it I love this color it's called mangrove <laughs> see that carolina flare right there look at that and uh this is this is a bay boat but on the 20 footer they have a dead rise which is you take the water level and then the um the uh angle on the boat and you take that degrees right there and it's 17 on the uh 20 footer which is great and uh that'll make for a good good ride i mean look at this boat look at that carolina flare on there I mean, I mean, that's what you want. Look at that. All the way down that hole. Look at that. Very nice. Um, I didn't get a T-top. I'm going with a Bimini for now. Because uh, T-top, I don't get the, um, the, the, um, the, the sun coverage that I want. But, but I'll, I'll go with a, a T-top later. But I'm getting the, um, the seating just like that. Tilt steering. And uh, it'll be a real nice trim tabs you got to have. So. But that's what I've been doing is uh, pre-scouting, uh, uh, boat shopping, and uh, my new reel, my new Shimano Twin Power. Really excited about that. So, But anyways, I uh, just want to give you an update about that. And uh, you'll see the fishing down in Fort Myers in the next video. <laughs> it's going to be good. So anyways, as always, I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Until then, happy fishing.